Hello y'all and welcome to my second edition of the Criterion Files. I'm probably just going to be spotlighting like 10 titles from here on out. I seem to be running out of time on these things so with that said let me get started. First film we have up is Michael Powell's uh, Peeping Tom. Uh, this is the British equivalent to um, um, the US's version of Psycho. It's about a psychotic photographer who takes his voyeuristic revenge out on um, his subjects. Uh, of course, mostly women. Um, and quite coincidentally, it came out the same year as Psycho in 1960. Um, it's a single disc set, um, little booklet, nothing special. A great film. If you haven't seen it, I suggest you check it out. Uh, it's spine number 58. Next film up is The Taking of Power by Louis XIV, a film by Roberto Rossellini from 1966. Um, I haven't seen this film yet, but it, it just from the pictures, um, it's a single disc edition, but I just love the artwork on that disc, um, as well as uh, the booklet itself. It, it looks like one of those uh, rich, lavish uh, costume dramas, um, like a painting. I'm uh, really excited to see this one. So that's uh, The Taking of Power by Louis XIV. Next film up is uh, Straw Dogs by Sam Peckinpah. Great film. I've seen this a couple times already. Um, Dustin Hoffman, it really seems like an off role for him. He admitted to saying that he only took the, he only did the role for uh, the money at the time. Um, but man, you know, what 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 a role for him. Um, it's about a married couple who moved back to her uh, hometown in in England, um, and local gang there, led by a guy who used to uh, fancy her, um, really gives the couple uh, trouble and puts them, you know, th through like an evening of hell, and torturing them, and you know. And it's from 1971, um, spine number 182. It's a two-disc set, um, nice booklet. Um, disc one is the film, and there's disc two, the supplements. Like I said, uh, out of print title, but uh, you can find this on uh, most auction sites, and that's Straw Dogs. Next film up is another one I haven't seen. It's a film by Lynn Ramsey, uh, and it's called Rat Catcher. Um, this film is from 1999. Uh, it takes place during the, the uh, Scot Scotland um, garbage strike, um, and that's about pretty much all I know about the film. Uh, it's a single disc edition, um, a folded booklet here. It's a debut film from Lynn Ramsey, and it also contains um, three of her short subjects, Small Deaths from 1995, Kill the Day from 1996, and Gasman from 1997. And that's Rat Catcher by Lynn Ramsey. Next is another film I haven't even opened yet, I haven't seen, but it's a director approved special edition um, by Armano Olmi, and that's I Fidanzati. And I believe that means uh, the cousins, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, it appears to be a single disc edition from 1962. And I don't know much about this film. Next th film up is uh, Fiend Without a Face. It's one of those throwbacks to, you know, it's it's not a throwback. It actually is uh, one of those sci-fi um, cheese fest films that I like from the 50s. Um, look at that right there. Uh, it I, I just love this film. It takes place on a, um, it's from 1958, uh, black and white film. It's uh, about the scientist. He can control um, creatures with his thought processes. Um, it takes place in, in Canada on a, a military establishment up there. And it, 
it's uh, directed by Arza Crabtree, and it's spine number 92. And that's uh, for all you sci-fi fans out there. This is this is like one of those films that you you know you just got to see. It it's just great to watch. Uh, and the special effects in it are are pretty revolutionary for their time. Um, and that's Fiend without a face. The supplements on this are great as well. Next up um, is Pygmalion by Bernard Shaw, and this is from 1938. It's a single disc edition, starring Leslie Howard, uh, directed by actually Anson Anthony Asquith. I'm not sure if I'm saying that correctly, um, but this was redone uh, in this in 1964 with Rex Harrison and Audrey Hepburn. You may all n know it better as My Fair Lady. And this is spine number 85. And I'm sorry, Fiend Without a Face was 92. Next up is a great film. I mean, I highly suggest this to everybody, and that's David Lean's Hobson's Choice from 1954. And it stars the wonderful and talented Charles Lawton right there on the cover. Um, it also stars um, Sir John Mills. Um, it's a f about a story of uh, uh, this man who, on the cover, Charles Lawton, owns a shoe store, three daughters that help him run it. The eldest is um, considered by him as a spinster who he just believes is going to take care of her until, you know, his dying day. But um, she wants to show her independence at her age and marry uh, one of his uh, shoemakers. And it's just one of those real touching films um, about, you know, the depth of love and everything like that. And, you know, I was really surprised. I didn't know what to expect. I had seen this on Turner Classic Films a few months back, and it's just a wonderful film. And that's number 461. Next up is a Japanese film by... Yasujiro Ozu, and that's a story of floating weeds and floating weeds. Fantastic film. Um, I just love the artwork on this too. It's a two-disc set. Um, it's a uh, it's a story about a uh, troop of actors that return to a, a small town, and um, their dealings with uh, the townsfolk in there, um, the people. Uh, that the main character, he's from this town, uh, reconnecting with, with family, you know, long-lost family members and everything like that. It's a real touching story. Um, this is also from 1954. And Floating Weeds is from 59. And I just love the artwork on this. It's one of those, um, it's like one of those hand-painted uh, bamboo prints that, um, you see in like you know really upscale Japanese restaurants and you know actually my family have a few of these we lived in Japan for about three years uh, in the mid 80s um, great artwork um, not much of a booklet here but like I said it's a two disc set it's a great film I suggest you check it out uh, spine number 232 and last up is a gangster film, Le Circle Rouge, The Red Circle. Um, I'm not sure I pronounced that correctly, but I'm giving it my best shot. Uh, it's from 1970, gangster film. I have not seen this yet. It uh, stars Alan DeLeon, I believe, DeLon, and Yves Montman. A uh, film by Jean-Pierre Melville. Um, it's a two-disc set. A uh, pretty thick booklet here some artwork. It's, it's supposed to be uh, hailed as one of the uh, gangster films of its, t uh, of its time. Um, a lot of special features here. Uh, set uh, archives, um, publicity stills, you know, the usual uh, supplements that you get. Um, and it actually has a it's presented by John Woo, and this is spine number uh, 218. And that's it for this edition. Um, more to come. Till next time. See y'all.